In this country, kids are losing their moral values and failing to comprehend principles on the meaning of life. Their morality is being stripped away from them by the impact of the media agenda and celebrities who acknowledge them for their misconduct, like if nothing is ever their fault. You are allowed to point a finger, blame your mistakes on someone else, easily walking away without the aptness of any form of punishment. Let's talk about discipline. Discipline. That's a topic that people are now too afraid to bring up at a school or family home. Due to the outside influence that will ruin your parental image by stating that discipline is a form of torture or abusement. Kids have already sensed it and used it to the best of their ability. As a parent, you're supposed to set limits for a child to establish boundaries. Some parents have gotten more lazy and softer by following what society pressures them to do. If you ground your child for two weeks, don't turn it into only five days. Follow through with your back end and stick with the punishment. Don't return their toys or electronics in the middle of the grounding period. The point to all this is for these kids to learn they did something wrong and to learn not to do it again. No repercussions are allowing kids to do the things they want at any time they want. It shouldn't be that way. As a parent, it's always easier to do the wrong thing and much harder to do the right thing. Being wrong is far outweighing and what are good actions for raising kids. Just because 35% of people don't agree with discipline, the other 65 shouldn't be forced to. Stop letting these critics drive your parental skills. Start off with hands-on demonstration on what your child did wrong to better improve their behavior. After that, if they are failing to comprehend, raise the standards and stick with the punishment until all the grounded days are checked off the calendar. The purpose of discipline isn't to bully or to gain control over your children. Instead, it's to teach them responsibility, accountability, and cooperation. Those qualities will make anyone a good companion. When you correct your child's behavior, it doesn't make you into a control freak. In the early years of a child's life is when you need to lay down the groundwork for a better prepared child with proper fundamental and interactive skills. Stop replacing their attention span with talents. Stop replacing their arts and crafts with Minecraft. Their motor skills won't strengthen since their swing sets were replaced with 12 hours of Nickelodeon. Their cleanup responsibility became your responsibility. In simple words, parent to parent, Govern your home the way it best benefits you. Society didn't give birth to your child. Society did not breastfeed your child. If you're a proud parent, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. If you're a parent who could learn a thing or two from this video, go ahead and hit that share button. Got a baby in the way and how to prepare you for the real world before your baby is even born? Hit that like and subscribe button. Show courage and always be kind.